federal civil lawsuit accuses five correctional officers with the Marion Correctional Treatment Center of brutally beating an inmate to death in February 2022. Good evening, I'm Kristen Kwan. The lawsuit alleged it wasn't the first time the inmate suffered abuse by officers. News Ice Kylie Hill has the details. The lawsuit was filed by Kimberly Hobbs, the sister of Charles James Givens. It alleges Givens was attacked by correctional officers in the shower after he accidentally defecated himself. It also alleges he was found unresponsive in his cell about an hour later, where he would later be declared dead. The lawsuit states, quote, the assistant chief medical examiner determined that Mr. Given suffered blunt force trauma to his torso, acute rib fractures, resulting in laceration of the spleen and massive associated internal bleeding. The lawsuit claims the assault was covered up. Prior to Given's death, the lawsuit states that he was taken to Smith County Community Hospital for, quote, injuries that are highly suggestive of correctional officer abuse and or neglect, end quote. Given suffered a traumatic brain injury after falling down a flight of stairs when he was four or five, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit added Givens would require assistance and supervision with daily functioning and tasks. According to the Lee County Circuit Court's office, Givens pled guilty in 2011 to first-degree murder. I spoke with the plaintiff's attorney, Paul Stanley, regarding this case. He provided a statement that reads, in part, quote, We are approaching 18 months since a mentally disabled man, Chuck Givens, was tortured and beaten to death off camera in the shower room at Marion Correctional Treatment Center. Department of Corrections video rules out the possibility that any person came in contact with Chuck Givens on the day of his death, other than his caretakers. In spite of this, no apologies, much less honesty, have been made forthcoming from the Commonwealth of Virginia. Not a single criminal charge has been placed against anyone in connection with Mr. Given's death. The lack of action by our government's white hats has been shameful. I have plans to sit down with attorney Paul Stanley to discuss more in depth the facts of this case. We reached out to the Marion Correctional Treatment Center regarding the case and have not yet heard back.